Hello everybody, my name is Oleg and uh, I'm a .NET developer. Uh, so today we'll have a very small topic about uh, cache busting uh, possibilities uh, in Blazor server. So uh, what way it is differ uh, between Blazor and, and MVC template and uh, how we figure out uh, this possibility in the new project template. So let's go. So first of all, let's create a new Blazor server project. So we can do it easily with JetBrains Rider. So we have this window with our templates and we can go with the Blazor app. For example, leave it this way. So we will keep the SDK uh, 7.0 and Blazor server app template. So let's create it. And here we see our project. So the main idea of this is uh, the regular uh, cache busting handler in MVC and how to implement it uh, in this template. So for example, we have here host CSHTML uh, file where we can, where we have uh, some uh, files which can uh, include the versions in order to uh, get the cache boosted when the files uh, are updated. So, for example, we can here specify the ASP, uh, ASP append version set to true. And when we launch this project in our browser, we can see that this file will receive the version one moment. So, let's check it and verify that this one uh, has the version appended. So here in the request URL we see that it has its own version, but when we, uh, for example, try to add some image to the razor file, for example, here, and let's add it to the www root folder, so add the img, and for example, we have one template image here, so let's use this one uh, for our user and let's insert it here. So mg uh, slash user png. Okay. But uh, here we see no NSP any of these helper tags. So why uh, does this happen? Because if we go to this file. Uh, not this, but uh, host CSS HTML. We see here the directive add tag helper, add tag helper, but which uh, which we could try to use in this import file, which uh, includes all services and uh, references uh, which are needed in the Razor files. Let's try it, but probably, but probably it, yeah. So it it just throws even even a compile error. So not just not uh, even e and uh, runtime one. So how do we figure this out? So first of all, uh, we need uh, we need to look look uh, inside uh, under the hood of this one. So SP append version. What is this? So it's just a property uh, which specifies uh, either the append version or not. So, but we can go a bit deeper and uh, find where this property is used. So, for example, we we can look uh, here and and see uh, where this property is used. So, for example, here, here, and here. But uh, in all the cases, uh, the the same method is used. So, add file version to pass. But let uh, let's look. Uh, uh, what, exa uh, what exactly service is uh, making this method available? So file version provider, what is this? And this is an i file version provider. So probably it's an interface of the service which we can easily inject via dependency injection. So let's try this. So first of all, go, go here in the uh, import file and using the directive inject Let's inject this service and let's uh, add this service a name, for example, provider. So we have added the service and 
for example, uh, here where we have this user file, uh, we can do it just this way. So we have this path. Let's copy it. And for example, we can use our provider dot add file version to path. So it's uh, the most probably obvious way. So it requires uh, two parameters uh, for this method. So first of all, it's a request path base and uh, string path. Uh, what is the request path, bay, path, uh, path base? Uh, so this is a base path uh, which uh, uh, can, uh, which is usually uh, an empty string uh, for the cases when uh, we serve the application for its initial URL uh, or we host it on the server under the root domain name. So for example, google.com and uh, others. So uh, when it's, it's uh, required that it should be not a nested web application. So if it nested, so this request pass base will be some value of this host. So, and the simplest approach is uh, when uh, we are assuming that uh, we are using the root pass base. So we are using the empty string here and we can specify the pass here. So it's, uh, it's uh, the simplest version of this uh, functionality. So let's try it and let's see if this will work or not. So here we see the our image and let's inspect it. And here we see the version tag for this one. Uh, but let's make it a bit, uh, a bit refactoring of this one. So first of all, we can do it uh, with the extension method method to this one. So let's create version extensions and let's make this one uh, static so and let's provide the public static string version extensions uh, get method and which will accept uh, which will accept the uh, uh, version file provider as uh, as an extension so let's better copy it from here this interface i have a version provider provider and it will accept the string pass and also we can specify the string base pass which will have a default value of the empty string so to look it a bit more convenient and let's call this method here so provider dot add file version to pass and specify the base pass and specify our main pass so here And uh, let's update this one with our updated method. So we need to call just our updated method here. So and we have this using directory which we can easily move uh, to our imports file. So let's keep it here. And let's let's try and let's rebuild it. Oh, probably this application has not stopped so let's stop it and rebuild it once more so here we can go and look at the result very interesting what's wrong with it one moment so we have this exception version extensions line 8 so line 8 We have pass ah oh, we have a pass string and we have this pass one moment how we we are using it so yeah we are using it uh, not so correctly so let's leave the main pass uh, here instead. And let's rebuild it. 
and see if everything works fine okay so the version is here uh, but uh, currently we have not uh, included the case um, when we uh, have uh, this application uh, running not in the root directory so let's provide a solution uh, for for even this case so uh, let's look once more at this method once more at this method uh, find usages and here we see that we need an HTTP context uh, request dot pass base. So how we can figure this out in Blazor server? Uh, it's uh, a kind of another way, uh, but uh, similar to the MVC approach. But what uh, differs here that we need to inject uh, our access to HTTP context uh, here in a manual way. So we have uh, one more interface for this. For this occasion uh, and it's an i http now uh, http context accessor so it will be accessor one and when we have this interface uh, we can easily create an overload for this method so it will also extend the file version provider, uh, but instead of using uh, this base pass, uh, it will use an HTTP, uh, con HTTP context accessor, uh, accessor. So and instead of base pass, we have <coughs> accessor dot HTTP context uh, dot request uh, dot now a pass base so and uh, while well, it's a warning here about the now reference but uh, if we are going this way with an accessor uh, this HTTP context uh, should uh, shouldn't be now in any occasion so and let's try this updated method so let's create an, another one here and let's provide uh, this with the HTTP accessor. So accessor we have here, and let's try it around. Unfortunately, there is uh, a kind of error here. So let's see the stack trace. Uh, we cannot ex uh, we can provide a value for accessor while there is no registered service uh, so in this case when we use an ICTP context accessor we need to remember that uh, instead of of the uh, file version provider which is included by default uh, in the blazor uh, web application bootstrap in the program cs uh, we do not have uh, an http context accessor uh, included by default so we need uh, one more thing to in to uh, run it properly so let's go here to the program cs and what we need to do here is just to add <coughs> the http context accessor so let's be here we can do it by builder services dot here we have an extension method uh, add http context accessor so let's look under the hood of it and we'll see that uh, this uh, method is simply adding a singleton of the service so it's uh, like a hosted service it's a just singleton so not scoped or transient and it uses uh, a pair of http context successor and uh, the class for this interface so and let's run this updated solution And here we see that both users uh, with the first method and with the second one have got version and the version is just the same for both files. Well, this is, uh, is the same image. So both cases of this one uh, with a pass base uh, which has the default value of the empty string 
and this one, uh, which is using uh, an HTTP uh, contact successor under the hood, uh, are running properly. So, and uh, this this method uh, method can be easily used uh, even e even uh, in the host CS HTML file. So, for example, we can use it here for this one instead of using the regular uh, uh, ASP append version. So, let's copy this one. Uh, paste here and ah uh, and one one more thing that uh, we have registered uh, this uh, i file version provider just in the Im imports razor which has no effect on the cs html host file so if we're gonna to use this uh, even uh, also in this file we should uh, proceed with, uh, with doing the same inject here. So we have injected this provider, and here we can go provider dot get and paste and paste this update, uh, this path for the CSS file here. So uh, this uh, method can be used uh, 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 both for for example scripts, uh, styles, uh, images, and so on. So for every static file. So let's look at it, and look at the network tab of this website. So as we can see, uh, both user uh, has its own version and our site's, uh, site CSS file, which we have recently included to the version, is also having its own version, so the, boot the bootstrap a version is quite a long longer while uh, this file is much bigger than these ones so here's it and uh, this way you can easily make your cache uh, cache busted work uh, in the blazer server but unfortunately in the blazer web assembly uh, we cannot access uh, these services on the front end so and uh, there is another way to do this so today that's that's it now, uh, thanks for watching, uh, have a nice day, and if you have any comments or suggestions, uh, uh, please, uh, please write me, and uh, see you soon, bye.